The delivery of rewards by a one-armed bandit is determined at random. But many gamblers want to think that what they do can increase their chances of winning the jackpot. They stand on one leg or wear a lucky shirt. Are these superstitious behaviors a byproduct of our evolution? All wild animals have to be kind of natural statisticians, looking for patterns in the apparent randomness of nature when they're looking for food or trying to avoid predators. There are two kinds of mistakes they can make. They can either fail to detect pattern when there is some, or they can seem to detect pattern when there isn't any, and that's superstition. Sixty years ago, the American psychologist B.F. Skinner investigated the behavior of pigeons, rewarding them with food when they learned to peck a key in the feeding apparatus. But then Skinner set the apparatus to reward the birds at random. Now the pigeons just had to sit back and wait. But that isn't what they did. Instead, the majority developed what Skinner called superstitious behavior. When an individual pigeon, for example, happened to look over its left shoulder, and the reward mechanism just happened to click in at that point, it would have got the idea that it was looking over the left shoulder that had got it the reward, so it tried it again. By sheer luck, as it happened, the reward mechanism delivered food at the same time again. And so the pigeon was reinforced in its idea that looking over the left shoulder was what got it the reward. And it went on and on and turned into a maniac for looking over the left shoulder. Humans can be no better than pigeons. We constantly create false positives. We touch wood for luck, see faces in toasted cheese, fortunes in tea leaves. These provide a comforting illusion of meaning.